Vlog One Massive, MF Ziba. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I share with you what I do to live naturally on a budget. Now I'm back with another hair regrowth update because I've been noticing a lot of changes or even more changes on my scalp since I did the last video. Uh, there's a lot of peach fuzz on my scalp and so I just wanted to share that with you. I have been using things both internally or and externally people if you notice my eyes going to and fro there's just a lot of things happening in this garden as you see a while ago that was a hummingbird just fly past me right so my eyes are all over the place but that doesn't mean that I'm not speaking to you all right so if you notice, well I've been noticing a lot of growth on my scalp and so I really want to just update you on that but before I get into that there's this verse of scripture that has been ministering to my heart this week and I just want to share that with you. So I'm going to be putting that up on the screen just for a few seconds so that you too can be encouraged by the word. Alright, so like, I don't know what's happening this morning. It's really busy. The cars are passing, hearing voices from the neighbors and so on, pan and everything and knock. So I'm just going to try to get over this video very quick because the noise is increasing so I've had these four locks in for a, for a little over two weeks they're not as pretty as your ordinary hairstyle because one thing is that when you are recovering from hair loss they can't do neat and you can't do pretty because you want to preserve that little hair that is growing in and you don't want to lose anything else right so I've been wearing these four locks and I've been getting a lot of growth there are two weeks so I know that my hair oils have been working um to grow my hair but i don't just want growth i want volume so it's volume that speaks right so i i'm really noticing a lot of improvement so these are the comparisons you can look at the two pictures you can check out my channel to see some of the things that i've been using in my hair and those have just been helping me to see amazing results So I can't help but to rejoice because of what I'm experiencing. It's not in a proud way, but when you know where you're coming from, because I remember like, you know, when I just bought my head in, when I bought my head in 2018, persons were like, you know, persons walked up to me, you have cancer, you're sick, or something like that. Those kind of comments that would kind of make you feel uncomfortable. And so I had to live through that period, but I knew it was something that I had to face. Just exposing this baldness, allowing it to be that point of conversation where persons, I could to, could actually talk to persons about what was happening and just to share because um, my hair was really patchy and I know it would draw some attention. It's not the attention that I really wanted, but I just needed to face what I needed to face because I know that in order to heal you have to face whatever is going on right so I used to get a lot of those comments persons asking me if I was sick some people you know saying all kind of things persons even laughed so this is just my moment to rejoice because I am coming from far my head middle was literally bald like a baby bottom so for me to even have hair on my head uh, it is it is all the more to be thankful to God that men are completely bald. I see a lot of persons who are completely bald and they're still putting on wigs with glues. That is a no-no. If you really want to recover from hair loss, you can't put on hair with glue. You have to do protective styling that is going to protect the little follicles that you have left alive. And you have to do things that are going to actually revive those follicles that are dormant or are sleeping. Right, so um, basically, that is my experience. Um, I was told that my when I was diagnosed, I was told that my hair would never grow back. I would eventually go bald, and that was one report I never believed because I believe on the word of God. Whose report shall you believe? So that was always what was inside of me. I am not going to go completely bald, and so I am not there yet. I'm still not there yet it's a big big improvement from what I where I'm coming from because it's always good to remember where you're coming from so that when you make the little gains the small gains and so on you're able to see or you're able to see the changes and those changes are what are going to encourage you 
I've come to the end of this video. I'll be sharing more. I think I'll be doing a video on tips to reverse hair loss without getting my own personal story into it. Just some tips, not from a professional standpoint, but from my own experience or from my perspective, what things that I did. And I'll just be listing those tips. I won't go directly into my own personal journey. I already have a video with my own personal journey so feel free to check that out i believe it's called my hair regrowth journey or something like that so feel free to check that out thank you once again and if you have not already subscribed to my channel please go ahead and subscribe i need to get to that 1000 mark and i also needed to share this video because i know there are a lot of women who, who are experiencing this challenge thank you